Happy new moon. Happy new moon. Okay, I have to grab my coffee. I have to grab my coffee. My coffee. So, let's look at the new moon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. And I'm something. And I'm something. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, that song? You know what I'm talking about? So, I'm going to use the reverse cards because I want to, you know, the new moon is all about new, bringing in the new, letting go of the old. Um, I wanted to say let bygones be bygones, so I don't know what that's about, but that's that's a, that's a thing anyway, okay? Um, it should always be a thing. It should be like your new motto. All right, uh, get, bring more positivity to you, okay? Um, Oh, these beads. I love my jewels, my silver, my gold, but these beads do something for my energy, guys. They do, they do. Um, so it is January 5th, 2019. It is, it is. So, Raw Loves will come out over the weekend um, as I can get to them, okay? Let's just see what this new moon energy is right now. Try to get outside if you're in nice weather for sure, okay? I'm just picturing like green grasses and land. Just get outside. Let the energy, let the energy go through you, okay? What's going on with the screen? Temperance. But that's awesome, okay? Because... This talks about healing, balance, grounding, okay? Um, there was a little anger in the past, but this is great because now, now you're ready to ground, okay? So that's great. That's great. Wow, they got a lot to say. They got a lot to say. What do we got on the ground over here? Oh, I got a ring down there. I got a ring down there. All right. So, it's the Five of Cups. Um, please let this go. Whatever this is, this sorrow. To me, this one's kind of petty. You got some type of connection, whether it's with spirit or someone else, guys, okay? It, it doesn't, regardless, because I, I would hate for somebody to be thinking about this and then just walk to that out of lack of comfort. You know what I'm saying? Because no one's walking away from it yet. Like, I'm not taking care of yourself. So temperance is here to definitely help with this situation, okay? So I, I basically, to me, it's saying you're surrounded by angels right now, okay? Um, to get you to your Ten of Cups. So it is that person. There is a person there, okay? Um, so you're not like daydreaming, okay? Um, it, it's here, but you don't see it. So to me, you're not dwelling on a relationship. This is just petty shit that you shouldn't be focused on. You should be focused on the Ten of Cups. Your own happy, your own your own solitude, okay? And then you have the world, and you, something is not wrapped up, okay? Um, so it would make sense that you can't get to your Ten of Cups. Because I actually saw this before this. So, I feel like your angels are definitely here to help and, and try to provide comfort, okay? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, such tight quarters. Not for long. I'm out of here soon. Not for long. A couple more weeks. So, 
to me, this is straight up saying it. When I pictured the green grass, I pictured all that. It was the grounding. Okay. that That's big advice because it's the first one that came out. So maybe to get out of this type of energy so you can turn your back on what needs to be turned so you can get to your own happy. And I'm not saying that somebody else is going to make you happy. What I'm saying is that in order to get to your own happy, you need to take my advice or, or spirit's advice. Put it, I'll put it that way, okay? Um... Because sitting right here, I just looked. It's the Four of Wands. And that's the good Four of Wands. Alright, it's not... It's the, it's the beginning of a solid situation, okay? I don't know why that keeps going dim. What else are we looking at? What else are we looking at? <clears throat> I kind of feel like... Yeah, this is the situation, okay? Um... So now we need to kind of look at, hold on, so we're conflicted on how to get to our path, we're conflicted on how to get here, which is everything I just said. So the best advice I can give you if you were to just get on your path that confliction will go away, okay? And this is this is new moon energy. It's Capricorn new moon, okay? So there's a lot of great, great qualities, all right? It's also long-term. It also has to do with money, um, setting goals, okay? That type of stuff. Um, let me open the Capricorn and see if there's anything. Because this is just... Basically, I, I know I haven't really, I didn't get into like the whole, I think I'm going to do the whole new moon blending, okay? But that comes after I catch up with stuff, okay? I'll probably do that in the beginning of next week. And I'll let you know when that's available. But right now, with my glasses? Right now, this is what we're looking at. And then I'm going to clarify, but, but, Okay. You know, the, the appear, uh, we, we don't really need to talk about the appearance per se, okay? But if we're going to, if we're going to go for colors, because they've been pulling me there, green, black, gray, indigo, or violet, okay? Weeping willows are good. Hemp is good. I don't know about hemp oil. That's, that's on you, okay? Um, uh, you might be smelling like a musky smell. That's okay. That That's going to tell you you're doing good. Black diamonds, onyx, ruby, okay? Those are the stones. If you have any of those type of stones around with jewelry, try to wear them, okay? Metal is lead. Um, you might be a little strict. You might take things a little too seriously. Okay, your sense of humor will, will be a little little ironic, to say the least. Okay. Um, you can be tender. You can be sensitive. I should really grab the other book. I'm just skimming through this. Um, I, but I've known this, too. When it comes to work, cappies love to be comfortable in their, in their, um, in their area, in their, um, in their environment so that that's a big thing I, I know a lot of people like to be tidy and well organized with this type of energy so that's great um, just try to have a sense of humor okay um, do not here's the thing too that I thought about too with people like to spend money in cappy energy okay um, just kind of be careful with that. Don't don't waste it on unnecessary things. Say to yourself, like, is this a want or is this a need? Okay. Um, it's okay to splurge here and there, but don't don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. And when it comes to love, okay. Um, it says, "I love you," and when it's meant, it does not see any other reason to keep repeating it. Okay, so it's, it's almost like that's the first thing I spotted. So it's almost like that one person that doesn't, like, really express here and there. If they say it, they don't need to say it consistently. 
okay? You have to always remember, and I, I've talked about this before, you know, some people are way more affectionate than other people, and a lot of other people express differently, okay? So take that into consideration, okay? Um, some cappies, you know, this is some, okay? They, they're they slow to make, like, the first move when it comes to approaches and stuff. Um, flirts are not that fun for them. They're not... It's more of a serious energy sometimes. Um, it's the emotional aspect of the of what's being said that can be overthunk. Yeah, I think I just made that up. That word, thunk. Tomato, tomato. All right. Very private. They make a good home and family type thing. They are very admired. Okay. But this is going to be for everybody type thing. Um Should have busted out the other book. But to me, it's, it's the energy, okay? And this is new moon energy. So basically what they're saying to you, if we're still in this, and some of you are, okay? If you've stepped out of this already, great, okay? Um, I might do an update for you in a couple weeks, but what this is telling me now and stressing, because it's not even going to give me more cards. They're going to let me clarify, though, okay? So ground yourselves like I saw. That's huge, okay? Even the fresh air if you're in a, a, a chillier environment. But whatever this is dwelling, it is dwelling. It, it's overspilt milk. It, it's not a painful dwell, okay? It, it's petty. You chose to leave the door open when it came to something, so shut it. You know what I mean? Shut the door is what they're saying. Because the only way for you to get here to your ten of cups is, is making that making that move. It, it's on you. This could also be travel. This could be somebody thinking about somebody long distance. Well, this could actually be somebody thinking about somebody long distance. But whatever thought this is, is keeping them back. Okay? This is straight up healing and grounding. It, I mean, I never, I mean, this is grounding to me. This is straight up grounding. Like your aura, lousy. For those that are in this energy, though. It's only for those that are in this energy, you know. For others, okay, that already stepped out of this energy, this is where you're going. You're going to your Ten of Cups, okay. So, like I said, the, there's conflict getting, getting here. But if you... If you twist, okay, if you, it's not even, look. it is looking at things in a different perspective, okay, but it's really acting on it and just making that first move, taking that step, okay. I would suggest, and Spirit would suggest, okay, just do it. It's that Nike, like that Nike symbol, just do it, okay, because Ultimately, that's what you want anyway, okay? So, oh, look at that. When I was just looking at it, like, just do it. Stop hesitating. Just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, so let's find out about this Five of Cups. So, here's the thing. Something, obviously hurt at one point but to me it's this way so it's not that you're sitting and crying okay now now you're just being a fucking pisser this is attitude get up walk away from this woman up man up if this was to be like a death or something and I saw other things like that totally different scenario this is not what this is this is not letting go of the past you would be doing it to yourself, okay? I suggest you plant your new seeds, you let go of what needs to be let go of, and you get on your merry way. Because now, somebody is literally sitting in piss of energy with an eight. And I, we saw that eight of cups. And for some of you, this is most definitely a connection because it's here. And your ego with the six of wands right there, your ego is getting the best of you. And this is for some. I'm telling you, some of you have already stepped out of this. Okay? 
So, tell me about the world card. The world. The world. Oh, my back is rocking. <sighs> As I just was like, my back is rocking with a big stone figure and a whole bunch of weight. All right. To me, this is being linked. This is the this is responsibility to me. The Ten of Wands lately has been a straight up responsibility, and it's just it's get to your responsibility. Okay. It's like you're not even putting one foot forward. You know, it's like you're there, you're trying, but but you're not. All right, you're not grounded here. You're somewhat grounded. You're moving forward here. You don't even know how to put that step there. Make the effort to leave that shadow side. Make the effort to leave this stone figure. All right, somebody got real comfortable in a situation and, and became became stone. It, it almost reminds me of like um. What movie is that? You know, there's always movies where you can turn into stone. It's, it's one of those. Um, but you need to put more effort into this, okay? This is you not leaving this. Or this is you not wanting to travel. This is you not wanting to have a new job. This is you not wanting to to go towards this because maybe you can pay your rent, okay? And... You're getting by, but you're not happy in your work situation. You're not happy where you live. You're not effing happy. And you're blocking your crown chakra purposely, okay? You have to turn your back to, to whatever this is. You have to close this door. In order to get to your Ten of Cups, this door has to be shut. I understand that there's some heavy energy that you're feeling, but you're doing this. You always have to partake in what went down. This is one of, like, to me, I feel like one of your lessons here was don't play the blame game. All right? This is, it's something very similar to that. Let's, let's just ask and find out what your lesson was because I don't think you stepped out of it. You know, this is either going towards happiness, love, it, it, regardless of the, the love, it's, it's the self-love to get here. What was the lesson here that, that someone has not picked up on yet, please? What was the lesson here that someone has not picked up? Five of Cups, three, three, so it's ten of wands. What was the lesson here? All right, you're hanging out with people you should not be hanging out with. You haven't learned that lesson yet. You're not hanging out with mindful people. You're not hanging out with people that can get you to where you need to be. You're too you're, you're too focused. I don't really see partying or anything like that. You're either getting advice for somebody who doesn't know their ass from their elbow, okay, or you're hanging out with people you should not be hanging out with. Fix it. Fix it. Because you're still here. Okay? This lesson wasn't learned. Okay? It's like you don't want to accept, you don't want to accept what's happening. You don't want to, whether this was uh, an ex or if this is friendships, it's any type of situation shit. You're not accepting. This is petty energy. You're choosing to sit here. You're choosing to sulk. You're choosing to have anger. You're not looking at two sides of the situation here. Okay. So what is the current lesson? To me, that's just focus and, and get going. You know, you can set, what, set your mind, what you think. Just let's see what spirit has to say. Because this is very important to get out of this energy. Because look at the, the brighter thing on the side. The, the focus on the lighter side of life. All right? Stop worrying about all the burdens. Let your angels handle that. They're here to support. Okay? It's, it's the negative thoughts, and this is cappy energy. All this green, this yellow, this yellowish green. Um, this is this is what you should be in right now. You know, it's it's not the the pissy side of what this is. All right, you're choosing again. It's a choice. So now say to yourself, I choose to go to my happy. I choose not to dwell on the past. I choose to stop being doubt, doubtful. I choose to not hang out with these people. I choose, I choose. Because ultimately, you choose, but you're not. And for those who made it out of this energy, 
That's fabulous. Because some of you shut the door. But it's not turned around. You, you, some of you have not welcomed this in yet. And this is this. Okay? So, get to that. What's this ton of cups? This could be you. This could be another relationship. This could be a, a child. This is this is a relationship. It's the King of Cups. It's the Knight of Cups. Sorry. Okay. Get going. Okay. You it, it, it don't don't think about it. it. It's like you know something's there, but there's something holding you back that you you effing pissed about. But you're being a pisser. Okay? It's like coming in like this, it's, it's like blocking you. You can't avoid this. Maybe you don't want to leave a job. Maybe you don't want to leave certain friends. Maybe these friends don't like who this person is. Because this has to do with a particular connection that you have with somebody. And it, it's, it's, it's got to be part of your karma. The, there's no question. Alright? So... I'm going to pull you your best advice for that. And for those who have left that energy, this new energy of the Ten of Cups in the night, whether it's new or old new, is coming for you. So, and, and chances are, it's going to be a long-time situationship. It's ironic because I usually like to read money, all sorts of stuff, and this is this is strictly love. It's like that Pisces reading that I said was so damn important. So let's get your best advice for the new moon in this situation to, to get you on your your merry way. It's still a beautiful reading, okay? You just It's, it's ego. It, it's ego, okay? You got the lovers and release. Release whatever this is. It's the end of a phase or a situation. See what I'm saying? It needs to end. You're also going through a spiritual transformation. It's time to move on. But I, I feel like you're fighting that. You're definitely, your crown is trying to open your root, your root chakra and you're kind of like, nah. But you got a lover. You got an intimate relationship here. You know, it says, oh, you know, for others... Why this is you too, you know, the, pay attention to your health, okay? But this is carefully weigh out a certain decision, okay? Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like that's for the other person. I don't know why I feel that because I, I kind of feel like with these two being together, somebody knows. I don't know if this is a, the, I don't know if this is some type of lie. This is something that's hidden, or someone's going to come in and, and not tell you something. Or somebody new might come in. Because this, this energy is for everybody. So somebody new might step in. Just give it some thought. Because obviously there's a connection. But it is so stale. It's so, it's so stagnant. So that's that's a tough one for me to, to answer for you guys. Okay, But this person needs to get out of this. This stress that it, this could become a health issue, okay. But what spirit's really trying to tell you is that this is an end of a, a difficult situation, and there is a spiritual transformation going on that I truly feel you're fighting or you're starting to accept, but you're still weak, okay. Not phys you're physically weak, but you could be like, Oh, no, I'm strong. Da -da -da -da. Nah, your body physically is having a hard time getting up and, and moving, okay. For others, yeah, there's somebody here. Others, you have to decide what's happening. Because to me, there's something here that's not being presented. Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the nine of air. All right. Someone's expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecies. It's that negative thoughts. If you stay here, that's what you're going to get. You're not sleeping. You're stressed out. See, I knew there was that stress. I was worried about the health. I'm not like super like worried, but it, it's, it's kind of a red flag for me right now. So stop hanging out with who you're talking to or stop getting advice from certain people that, that apparently does not like this person or they're jealous. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose their wingman. Okay. Cause this seems to be the masculine energy right now. And I'm, I, I'm only saying that because it's masculine on my board. 
this somebody might have moved on. This connection might have moved on from you. So if you choose to step away from things that no longer serve you, you choose not to be negative. You choose to focus on the 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 brighter stuff, the sun, the rainbow at the end of the tunnel. All right, maybe maybe picture going on a vacation with this person. You guys are in the sand. Visualize. This is for the one that's in this energy. Stop visualizing. If there's no one in your head, this is about love. So stop visualizing something. This is the new moon energy. If you stay in this, what this is telling me is you're going to repeat the cycle. And it won't be with somebody. You won't have that comfort of a lover. You most definitely won't. They will make sure that you're in this. They're not going to let you get satisfied with anything. Not even one night stands, nothing. This is, we're wrapping this up. You have to get to the end of this for this, or they're going to let you stay in this for another cycle. And if you ask me, this is the world. You can repeat this for a damn year. Okay, so I don't know what's this linked to, but that's why I'm saying, ladies and gents, don't be waiting around for this energy. It's not healthy. You're going to have a new opportunity if your particular person does not step in. Okay, I really feel like for those who are going to step in, it's, it's going to happen soon. But the most important message I can give for this energy right here, this cluster, is grounding. It was the first thing that came out of my mouth. It was that lavish land, whether, whether it's cold or not. It's that grounding. Can this be a reconciliation? Yep, but I, I don't see it. If I, I wouldn't, if this is your person you're waiting on, I wouldn't get your hopes up. I would take care of you because you're already in this energy. So you get what you get and you don't get upset. And I don't think you will. I, I do not think you will because it will be guided. Spirit will make sure. So for those who are in this energy, congratulations. Because what? Because at one point you were in this energy and you chose to push through. You changed your focus. Okay, so I love, I love, I love you guys, okay? Your best advice, this is, this was you, not someone not learning a lesson, hanging out with people that you should not be hanging out with, okay? Sitting in the dark, dwelling, not having good thoughts, a straight up pisser, <clears throat> a straight up, yeah, you're being a pisser, <clears throat> you're not talking because my throat chakra is telling me you're not, Okay? You're refusing to go to your Nine of Cups, which would be that. Not even the person. It, it's your own happy. You're refusing. Okay? Um, it's, to me, you are probably ungrateful. Okay? What they're saying is, is leave, leave that behind. All right? But that battle, it, it's like you don't want to fight the last battle. You're wounded, all right? But regardless regardless of what this wound is, you have to choose to get out of this. Look at that beautiful yin and yang. And, and I, I know it's yin and yang, or we all thought it was yin and yang, okay? But they want it pronounced yin and yang because that's how it's truly pronounced, okay? For those who are unaware of that. Um... And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Pence. This is somebody just chilling. All right. Her back's not turned, nothing. She's just chilling. Solid. But she's not with the Queen of Swords right next to it, too. She's not dealing with not, nada. No bullshit. No nothing. She's focused on herself. Okay, so somebody got to this energy, but don't, my best advice for whomever energy this is, let's pull it, because I, I don't know if that's, that's ice cold energy, like I'm going to ice somebody out, because I don't, these cards aren't meant to be reversed, but it was reversed, and I kind of feel like I was supposed to read it reversed, and it's the Knight of Swords, so to me, that, that can be hash, so yeah, you cut, you cut something out. Or you were sending these type of messages and finally you're just like, you took a big, you took a big woosah, all right, and 
you let that go. Or you're just prepared to handle this. Because I guarantee if this person was to hit you up anytime soon without changing their thought process or without focusing on the brighter side of stuff, this is what you're going to get. So you will have to cut off communication because you were reversed. Again, I don't read this reverse, but I'm stressing it was reversed. Okay? And it's not that you're being a bitch. It's just you're your own priority because you got here. Okay? So that, that's great. All right? I don't know if this person's going to come at you like that. I don't know. I would really, truly hope not. Okay? Um, it is a no bullshit type stuff. You might not get that emotion when I was talking about what I was talking about earlier, how people express differently. You might not get the emotion that you seek from an individual because everybody communicates and expresses differently. Okay? So ultimately... Use your gut, and I think that's why you had the lovers, because, yeah, there is that bond with somebody. But at the same time, if there's no synergy, see you later. See you later, Gator. I got no time to mess with that. But you learned that lesson. You shut that door, okay? But just be careful, because if it reopens, you need that synergy. You need that grounding. It's right back to the energy with the weekend energy to it. It's that energy, the meshing. But to me, for this, what it was saying, all of you need to remain grounded. First cut out, all of you need to remain grounded. Learn how to mesh, balance, okay? But this is a big message for this person. And my big message I'm giving for this cluster is choose to focus on the lighter side of stuff. Choose, even if there's no woman or man in your life, choose to start having this type of imagery, this type of visions. It's a visionary thing. Shut your eyes, go deep. I think you can do it. You're choosing. It has a lot to do with your crown chakra too. It's that 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 pheromone. It's, it's what you give off in dreamland, dream state. I forget what it's called. It's, it's where they're pulling me. It's a dream state thing. It's a is something if anybody knows please comment okay so I'll probably I'll do my best to try to touch base on this okay but in all re in, in all um, retrospect this is your energy to step out of why did it just kick me off Why did it just kick me off? Am I still on? Hold on. I don't know what that's all about. I might still be on. Regardless, if I am on, I'm about to find out. I was done anyway. Okay, I am still on. It just, the screen literally went blank. Like, it, it kicked me right off. So... Like I said, I was done anyway, and they pretty much just stressed it to me. All done, okay? Um, and I think it has a lot to do with it. It's 33-something. There's a whole bunch of threes. It's mind, body, and soul. This is on you. I don't need to keep going, okay? I said what needs to be said. I got you where you... I can get you to where you need to be if you take Spirit's advice, okay? Um, I love you guys. Ultimately, you know, honest to God, I'm, I'm here for you, and this is the best advice that can be given right now in this situation, okay? I just love you guys. Happy new moon. Happy new moon. Bye, guys.